Fellow explorers, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're planning a visit to Las Vegas in May of 2021 or for the rest of this summer. By the way, if we haven't met, my name is Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informed, entertaining. And this video is part of my series on Las Vegas. So you'll find a whole bunch more videos about Las Vegas, not just about reopening, but things like cheap eats and best hotels in the description below. Without further ado, let's get right into what's changing in May in Las Vegas. So the State of Nevada, effective May 1st, is getting out of the business of placing restrictions on cities and counties within the state. So the state of Nevada is ending its social distancing mandates, and it has lowered those social distancing mandates down to the counties. Clark County, which is the county that Las Vegas sits in, is now the one coming up with the restrictions and enforcing them. And so what we're seeing is a increase in the capacity restrictions. In particular, Clark County is now allowing 80% capacity in restaurants and events. Previously, it was 50% capacity in restaurants. So with the improved 80% capacity, I think we're going to see a lot more restaurants reopening. Additionally, the social distancing requirement previously was six feet. It is now going down to three feet. So people will be able to be closer together and tables will be able to be closer together in restaurants, which also allows a lot more restaurants to reopen. In particular, self-service buffets are allowed to reopen beginning May 1st. A couple requirements on those buffets the buffets will have to uh, supervise the food areas. They'll also have to provide sanitizer, hand sanitizer to the guests, and they'll have to replace the serving utensils every hour. So we're seeing a number of buffets preparing for reopening. Currently, only the South Point Buffet and the buffet at the Cosmopolitan are open. Cosmopolitan's Wicked Spoon currently is open Thursday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., but the Win is looking to open in about the July time frame, and at Caesars Palace, the back and now buffet they have not announced uh, the dates of the reopening but they are hiring for jobs and so they'll likely be reopening soon good news for people going to vegas that want to dine in big groups at restaurants the limit previously had been six people seated to a table that will increase this month to 12 people seated at a table nightclubs and day clubs will finally be able to reopen as clubs previously they've been operating as lounges with reserved seating they'll now be able to sell general admission tickets the dance floors at clubs will still be closed they'll be able to to reopen once Las Vegas and Clark County hit some certain COVID vaccination thresholds that we'll talk about later in this video. Adult entertainment of the strip club variety are allowed to reopen. Uh, the adult entertainers, they'll be required to either get a COVID vaccine or weekly COVID-19 tests to be within three feet of guests. Capacity at nightclubs and adult entertainment establishments is at 50%. Now there's one more variety of adult entertainment that isn't in Las Vegas, but that I get a lot of questions about, and that is Nevada's famous ranches, the chicken ranch, the Mustang ranch. Those are allowed to open now, though I hear an article in the Daily Beast said demand is huge. And actually, if you want to go to one of those ranches, apparently they're all booked up pretty much for May. So you'll probably be looking at June to make a reservation. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, Chris, do I still need to wear my mask in Las Vegas in May? And the answer is yes, the mask mandate is still in effect. You'll still have to wear your mask mandate inside in Las Vegas. Now, these restrictions that we've talked about are going to be changing based on two dates. On June 1st, the state of Nevada has said they hope to reopen things 100%. Clark County has said they're going to open things more based on the data, based on data about when people are vaccinated. In particular, dance floors at nightclubs will be able to reopen once 60% of Clark County residents have received at least one COVID vaccination shot. Currently, that number is at 46%. So when they get to 60%, that's when dance floors reopen at nightclubs. That is also when sporting events, uh, outdoor concerts will be able to sell general admission tickets. Currently, uh, big events will have to sell reserved seat tickets only, no general admission. And if you want to stay in touch with future reopenings in Las Vegas, what the policies are when you go, definitely subscribe right here to Yellow Productions because as things change and open up even more, I'll definitely be making new videos. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss those when they drop. Now that we've talked about the restrictions, let's go ahead and talk about some new things that have opened in Las Vegas or things that are opening real soon here in the summer. First, the Pinball Hall of Fame is now open on the Las Vegas Strip. They're open across the street from the Mandalay Bay. If you like pinball, definitely check this place out. 
at Area 15, which is Las Vegas' new funky artistic shopping mall experience place. Omega Mart is now open. This is like an Instagrammer's delight. Just a really neat place. It's hard to describe, but you can see with some of these pictures, it is a really cool experience. It is a ticketed experience, so you have to pay admission to go into Omega Mart. No admission required just to go into Area 15. The biggest Las Vegas hotel currently under development, Resorts World, has finally announced their opening date. They will be opening on June 24th. There will be three Hilton Honors affiliated hotels under the Resorts World umbrella. There will be a Hilton, there will be a Croxford, and there will be a Conrad Hotel. They've also announced some of the entertainment that's going to be headlining at Resorts World. Celine Dion, Katy Perry, Carrie Underwood, and DJ Tiesto are some of those big names. Now, those names won't be performing right as Resorts World opens because things like their theater and their nightclub won't open on June 24th, but that's the first date you're able to book a room at Resorts World and experience the part of the resort that is open. I'm really looking forward to their Asian-inspired Hawker Center that's going to be there. My belly is hungry already. Now, people also always ask me about, Chris, what's going on with the shows in Vegas? What about Cirque du Soleil? Cirque du Soleil has finally announced some reopenings. The first Cirque show that'll be reopening is the Blue Man Group at Luxor on June 24th. Yes, Blue Man Group is part of the Cirque du Soleil umbrella. Mystere opens at TI Treasure Island on June 28th. And O reopens at the Bellagio on July 1st. The Cirque show Celestia that was at the Strat has closed at the Strat permanently. It will not be coming back to the Strat. It is rumored that they're looking for a new home for Celestia, but don't look for it at the Strat. Now, while nearly all of the Las Vegas hotels and casinos have reopened, there's still a few that haven't. In particular, the Palms Hotel and Casino across from the Rio has still not reopened because they've been looking for someone to buy it. It has been purchased and sold to the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians. This Native American tribe operates a casino in California quite successfully, so it'll be interesting to see what they bring to the Palms. This is also now the second Native American tribe that operates a casino in Las Vegas. The other one is the Virgin Hotel, previously the Hard Rock Hotel, also operated by a Native American tribe. And the other big sale and merger news is in the Las Vegas nightclub scene. The Tau Group, which is owned by Madison Square Garden Entertainment, has purchased Hakkasan. So these have been the two biggest nightclub operators on the Strip that are now one. So I'm sure there will be some really interesting things to come to nightclubs as Vegas reopens even more. And finally, really the best news for Las Vegas reopenings is that people appear to be coming back to Las Vegas. Actually, tons of people are coming back to Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Strip and downtown Las Vegas, the crowd levels seem almost like they were before the pandemic. On weekdays, it's still fairly unbusy, so if you're looking for inexpensive room rates, try the weekdays. Although if you go on a weekday, still lots of things are closed. I mentioned the Wicked Spoon Buffet, currently not open on weekdays, so if you want the best classic Vegas experience, that's gonna be on a weekend, but be prepared for big crowds because they've returned maybe just like you. Well, if you are headed to Vegas, you'll enjoy checking out some more videos from my Las Vegas series. You can click right here for the cheapest eats on the Las Vegas Strip, or you can click right here for my whole playlist list of all my Las Vegas videos. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.